Hello! Welcome to my channel. This is Diane Dobson Barton and I wanted to do something a little different on this exercise. I've been doing a lot of very representational work and I really I want I want to be looser and I know I've said that repeatedly. So that is where this project comes into play. Here I'm just putting gesso on all of the all four of the squares. And I didn't measure this. I should have where I put the tape. It's and it's just a painter's tape, you know, like you get in the department store or discount store. But I got all four of these gessoed and then I chose three tubes of paint that I don't normally use that color. Yeah, you know, they were a little mm, is this gonna work or not? And then I did these very loose abstract brush strokes. It almost looks the but one on the bottom lower right sort of looks almost more like a print. But that's just how the paint the paint went. And then I'm taking that tape off. Fortunately, it came off really easy. I don't think it was on there long enough for it to get a really tight. Well, there it just ripped on me. But anyway, I got all four of them finished like this, and it sort of reminded me of um, Army Fatigue is what it looks like to me, the colors. And then I just took a ruler and a craft knife, cut them up, cut them into four pieces. For, unfortunately, since I didn't measure, they're not consistent across sizes, but they're consistent enough that you can tell they belong together but they're more like cousins than sisters, I'll put it that way. And then here I'm just, I'm taking them apart. It, I didn't want to press too hard because I had this drawing board underneath it. I really like that drawing board, so I didn't want to damage it. But underneath that is my work table, and I'm still kind of attached to my work table. It's a, a newer one that I moved in there and the surface is, is fairly smooth, so I'd like to keep it that way. I could have taken it over to another area and done it, but I just... I don't know if it was laziness or just impatience or what, but I just went ahead and did it there. But I was able to score it enough to pull them apart anyway. And I took some scissors and cut off that the ragged edge. You know how when you pull out a piece of paper from a spiral bound. It's got that one edge. It's kind of rough. So I cut it off. But each of these also brought into mind landscapes for me. And looking at them, I'm what's coming to mind is did I go back to representation too much? But I don't really think so because of the way I did the rest of it. I painted in on each one what would be like a sky area and I painted them with different colors according to what was in the the abstract part. But it made them resemble a landscape in a way. And I really like how they turned out. They're very different than anything I normally would do. But they were, I, it was, it's definitely something I would do again. But that's the video for today. Short, sweet. I hope this inspires you to do something different. And thank you for being here. If you're not already subscribed, I would appreciate it. Or a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.